Hey everyone, I am super, super excited to finally share my song, The Wanderer. <laughs> the Wanderer. <laughs> Let's try this again. I'm very excited to share my song, The Wanderer, with you. Um, this song has been a long, 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 long time coming. Um, if you know me from Long Beach, from when I used to live there, this was um, always in my set. And um, a lot of my close friends uh, know the song and have performed it several times with me. Um, thing with this song though is every time I'd perform it, it was always different because I always had um, other, like I always had different musicians playing it with me, which was um, kind of my style. I would just <laughs> hit up whoever could uh, could or would want to perform with me and I was always super grateful and like overwhelmed that people actually like to jam with me. <laughs> so I had recorded the song, oh gosh I don't even know when, I knew it was like a few years ago but I don't remember exactly um, which year it was. I would say 2016 but I'm not exactly sure if that's when it was. Anyway so I had recorded it along with a few other songs uh, at AEA Studios where my good friend Nathan Bowers works and he always let me come in and you know record on their really old piano and on a ribbon mic which was great. Um, I at the time didn't have the proper um, tools I didn't I don't I had like a MacBook Air and I I think I had Logic but it really wasn't running well on that computer so I kind of put the put that to the side and then um, COVID hit and I you know was looking at all my previous stuff and I finally was able to get a new computer and I uh, found the song I thought I lost it but it was on a flash drive and um, I was like you know what. I'm just going to commit to this. I'm going to finish it regardless of if it sounds the way that I have like intended it to, to sound. Um, Cause that's kind of the beautiful thing about this song is that every time I performed it, it was always different. It was always different uh, depending on, you know, what other musicians I had with me, what the setup was, etc. cetera. Um, so it was kind of, I was afraid, I was afraid to commit to it and, you know, put it on paper or you know, put it on on the web in one specific take. You know, uh, speaking of take, what was so? Oh God, I'm like rambling. Let's try this again. Um, the cool thing about this recording, and which is why I really wanted to share this version of the song, is that the piano and the vocals are in one take, and they're both together. So it's like essentially a live perform performance is what I like to say. It's a one take. And then, you know, several years later, as I found it, I did all the strings, MIDI, and then I bugged some friends to record, which they graciously did. So I want to thank Freddie so, so much, because he's been with me on my music career since the beginning. He's actually the reason why I started performing at open mics and all of that in Long Beach. Um, he's just been such a great friend and I knew I could trust him with uh, the guitar part and he exceeded my expectations. Um, gave it the whole like spaghetti western feel which I am so grateful for. I also want to thank Sam so much for doing the bass and James for doing uh, the drums and I really appreciate both of you because I gave little direction. I was like here's the song just do something. Um, um, the song always sounded specific in my mind um, but I was kind of curious to see, you know, how others would, would take it without any direction. Um, and yeah, it, what I love about this song so much is that it's an epic tale. It's almost six minutes. Um, it's in three parts. There's always three parts to this song. There's the intro, which kind of sets the tone and that's just piano. And I think I added a little bit of violin underneath that or cello underneath that. And then it goes into the actual song and then there's like a break and it's, you know, it, and then it, it ends. <laughs> um, but when you listen to the song, you'll get it. it. It's like, a, it tells a whole story. And I'm actually really curious to hear uh, what you guys think. I know it's a long song. Uh, I know it's not like a radio song. It's, 
it's a tale. It's a it's a movie. You know, I, this is something that you want to have time to listen to. You know, close your eyes and go on the journey of of the wanderer. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Um, I have a few other songs that are probably gonna come out soon that are the kind of the same style, the one take um, that I'll, you know that I've been adding stuff onto. And then um, I have a lot more music under you know in coming up soon that's gonna be way different. You know, I'm, I have some stuff that's more like pop, some like more like epic dance songs and stuff. But I really, really wanted to get this song out because this is, when I first started songwriting, it was, this was the style that I was coming up with and something I've been very passionate about. And um, I like how visual the song is. And um, yeah, I'm really curious to hear what kind of uh, visuals come to your head. You know, I'm always really bad at describing my style. So um, if in the comments you could put what you think my style is um because i mean i just say that it's indie singer songwriter but it, i always say it's like gothic vaudeville uh mystical eerie ethereal <laughs> um but yeah so let me know what you think and i really 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 hope you enjoy it and thank you so much for supporting me and following me and um yeah take care I traveled, I came across the wanderer.